Hi there, it's Elaine here and welcome back to my channel Chatty Lane Creates and today I thought we would do some more glue picking. Uh, this is my, well, I was calling it my en masse glue book and I'll explain a little bit about that in a minute but I'm going to change the name of it as you probably gathered from the title to the collective glue book now basically it's a collection of pages as you can see I have got the alphabet in here and I've tabbed all of the alphabet and I'll explain that when I go through it I have got one for my numbers and I will put tabs on some pages because it will just make it easy for me to find them. So as you can see, I've added some more bits to my cover. Uh, these are quite thick. They're probably adverts that were on covers of the magazine, which makes them quite thick. And I thought they'd make them a little bit more robust on the front cover so this one you'll recognize from my magazine harvesting video this was on the front of my asda magazine thingy which is a shopping uh well grocery store you know we call them supermarkets here in the uk i know in america you call them grocery stores and i've also added some duct, duct tape to the spine so the back is still patchworky but i wanted more of this over because i didn't want to cover too much of the cover up but i needed to bridge that edging that because of the way the book goes as you can see this part of the book doesn't move at all it's it's the way it's been glued together so basically as i say i've changed it from the my own mass glue book to my collective glue book and what you do is it's a collection of pages that you have chosen to find images for so i basically got a to z in here so anything starting with A will go on my A page. I've got an apple and a couple of A's and, and words, pictures, letters, whatever. Anything that starts with an A. And that's all the way through the alphabet. And we're going to put some bits and pieces in today. I've also got all the colours in here as well. And... I kind of semi regret that now because obviously I've set up a glue a color glue book but it is only one page and what I've done is I've washi taped the page edge on that particular page so here's the blue one I've just put washi tape on this one and obviously I haven't folded it over to the previous one because that is L so I didn't want to do that so I just put it all the way down the edges of the colour so you can sort of see it a little bit so I probably can't but I think I might tab them with a colour so yeah uh, that's another thing I need to do this took me forever I still haven't found a J yet but I've got all the others I cheated for the Z I turned an N on its side <laughs> And, and you'll see that um, I've got a Q and a U on the same page because I thought I might have trouble with Qs. So I've kind of put them together and the X, Y and Z I've put on the same page. And so we'll see how that goes. Whether I, There's still some pages that I've not used, I've not allocated. And some of the pages I've allocated, I might change or alter slightly or take them out. I mean, I have taken the old one out already because I decided I didn't want it. Um, the ones with the little marks means that I've actually already allocated them a page. 
The ones without a mark I haven't done yet because I haven't decided on whether I'm going to go with that. I do have one for desserts and I do have one for cakes and drinks in glasses. So no tea or coffee here because I don't drink tea or coffee. So they're not going to happen. And some of the animals that I've chosen and various different things that some of them have already got things on them uh some that i've still got to allocate a page and decide where they're going so yeah there's there's quite a lot still to do in this book i've not got a lot in it but i thought today i have tucked in on the page some things that i can glue down and i will slowly flip flip through it as i do the glue in i think so it'd be easier to see how it's coming together so this original book was a furniture catalog so you will be seeing lots of furniture related pictures on the pages uh, so i don't have anything for a and this is my numbers page and i've put numbers on the tab which just happened to be four five and a four so this is coming together quite nicely now with this one I just glue them down as and when because they come in all sorts of sizes and this one's obviously I've, what I've done is left edges so I can tuck things underneath so I don't really get because there's stuff behind I didn't want to end up with lots of of the background showing so I've left some of the edges so I can tuck things in so the main body of the, the pictures are quite often stuck down. Right, so this is my B page. And I've got a few things on here I'd like to stick in. So I've got a birdhouse. So we're going, this bee's already on the page, so I've got to work around that a little bit. So I think I'm going to put the birdhouse down the bottom here. And I think he's on a bit of a slant. So that's how he was in the book in the magazine then i've got b for boats i haven't quite decided whether that's going to go on s for ship it's a bit more like a ship isn't it so i might put that on the s page another bird house type thing well actually it might be bees it might be a bee house but it's still a bee isn't it B for bees, B for bit birds. So yes, I I might put him on a different page though, so they're not necessarily together. So we'll put the boats over here. Um, he's all stuck down, so I don't know. No, he won't tuck under there. So I might put that under S for ship. So we'll stick that on the S page, I think, for now. So let's get some gluing done. I um I've been quite busy with my mum, so I haven't been able to get up here quite so easily. She's okay, she's doing all right. A lot of it is the um, her getting used to having carers in and she's a very independent lady and she finds that very very difficult to deal with uh, what can you see oh yeah you can see right over there so i think we might put this one over here because some of the pictures were already stuck in so when i put the tabs on they've gone over the picture so i haven't figured out what i'm going to do with the other side because obviously they they have to be stuck to the page and so this one won't be so bad i'll be able to put something over that one right so we're going to put our birdhouse down here i like him he's definitely on the slant i'm fairly sure he's on the slant right let's get some glue and i've got the gluing on book this is the remains of me as the book i will try and be careful of the cake oh what are you doing elaine you never turned it over oh my god what an idiot 
I'm gluing my birdhouse. That's really silly. I'm going to have to let that dry now. You're an idiot, Elaine. Concentrate. Concentrate. Concentrate, indeed. Right. I've turned this one over. What I was going to say was, I'll try not to touch the cable, but I am right-handed, so I do end up getting near the cable. Right. So I'm going to put this over in the corner on the edge of the page, if I can find the edge of the page. I do find, because... I always use Yoohoo. Um, it doesn't always want to slide. Let's get my scissors out ready. Where's my bone folder? So we can stick that down. That's not got any on that edge there. For some reason. Must have missed it. That'll oh, just do that corner. I think I've probably got it over the top a little bit here. Yeah. So we'll stick this one on. I think we'll put it next to it. Go over that on there like that. There we go. That's that one. Right, put a few more on the B page. I would have had more if I hadn't done that. So we'll wait for that to dry. I only did a little bit of it before I realised, so but it'll have to dry. Shilly me. I am a shilly person. So we've got quite a few on the C page. Right, now, I did have this on the fabric page or on the F page for fabric but they're actually corduroy trousers and I loved all the colours so I decided I'm going to put it on this page a C page for corduroy because that's the name of the fabric and this moo cow she's going there and I've got a little doggy up here which I have sort of stuck down already underneath cake so it's a little doggy and a little cat and i put them there because they're cuddling so that's why i put them on the c page so we'll do we'll do this cat over here i think um i'll do it this edge here and we'll put the cat this side here somewhere I think I've got it too high yes there we are. going around this bendy bit is a bit of a pain to be honest and I can't see what I'm doing while I'm trying to do it so we'll put that there like that and then so I'm not going right into the uh, the crease because that's that's going to bulk up the but oh, now look what I've done I've got a big crease in it now surely me I'll put it down funny let's put it on the page I do sort of have trouble with this paper in this book this catalogue and I have found that sometimes they've been coming up I think it's just I just haven't got enough glue on but it's very glossy as you can probably gather so I hope you're not getting too much glare from it but um, I don't quite know what it's going to be like as it as it fills up it's going to be pretty chunky but I'm not quite sure what it's going to do to the spine because of the way it goes. So we'll just have to see how it, it pans out, really. And Miss Miss Moo Cow's going on here. Glue her down. 
Kushi's Acuity. I do have um, quite a lot of, that's not really straight, that line, that cut a line across there, which is fairly normal for me. <laughs> I can't cut in a straight line. Put her underneath the carousel. So hopefully I'll be able to put the carousel down soon. And we'll put the corduroys on. I don't want to put it over that craft word. Tuck you in. Tuck you in there. Oh, oh no. I was going to go underneath the the uh, cake. It's not very straight. There we go. That's better. That's it. Now I think it's crooked. Oh dear. I think it's down now. Never mind. I don't mind that edge being up a little bit so I'm not worried about it too much because I might be able to tuck something under it or I don't know whatever like that one that one's gonna go over the top but I've still got a little bit in here that I need to fill up with something I'm not quite sure what I'm gonna do there yeah so that's some more C's down and the cakes you know got you know something under here needs to go over there really i don't know what i'll get when i get there i'll do it because there's some things that i like that i don't want to cover up and then there's other things where like this obviously it doesn't matter too much and that that finishes that edge off but obviously i've got all this bit to do so this is this is the hardest bit with this book i think is just figuring out what you want on top and what you want underneath and sort of these bigger pictures obviously are better underneath and then you can fill in little bits around them um, this is my mum's cross stitch uh, she she does a lot of cross stitching well she doesn't do as much now as she used to but she's been doing me some names recently so they might make an appearance soon I'll turn that one over that side and we will move on to D. I think there's a couple in D. Yes, it's a daffodil. So we'll glue that one in. And this this dining room is why that's on D. Actually, let's just put that there. And I think this this really will be very bitty until I really start, you know, filling it up properly. And I'm slowly finding bits and pieces to go on these pages. Right. Can see under the lights where the glue is better because <laughs> my blue doesn't work my blue glue this glue's rubbish it came through rubbish and i was very disappointed with it as i've probably said so many times in my other videos so it's supposed to be magic blue goes on blue dries clear well it's never been blue basically it's just rubbish i think what happens is that i don't know wherever i got it from i got it off amazon but it come from the people who supplied it on amazon and um i think it dries out i've got a little elephant there so i will stick him in on the e page 
these big letters were um, it was the word save so I split the letters up because they were really colorful so I had one on the A page if you noticed that's the A and that's the E on save so there's one on the S page and there's one on the V page I haven't put the S one in actually uh, but I have put the V in I think yeah there's the V so you can see that's a bit of yellow from being before the E so I left it on the V because it's kind of they were quite close together so I couldn't quite split them very well and the S I'm not sure if the S didn't come out very well right so some elephants that's me E started got nothing for F nothing on G that one's coming unstuck a bit I was doing this quite late at night and uh, I think by the time I got to the end I was getting quite tired <laughs> just take that edge off probably needs a bit more glue on it, the little G yes I haven't found a J yet I only found a K the other day and it's not it's not a brilliant one but it is it is there so I've got it's a bit of a funny K it was quite a long really long uh, K and I had to chop lots of it off it wouldn't fit me a little tab right so we've got nothing on G nothing on H that's I that's J I've got Japanese and I've got Jaguar there but we've got these jugs which I'm going to put on here I love jugs <laughs> I'm a bit weird I like weird stuff right it's, I was a bit torn between both sides really but this is out one of the artist books magazines I mean I keep saying books I'm used to dealing with books and don't so I'm used to saying books more often than magazines <laughs> oh, get off and the reason I'm doing this page is because it's actually easier to glue on than the other page I think it needs to come down a little bit whoops oh now I pulled it out glue some on there plus my cutting is not always straight so I'm trying to line it up and the cutting's rubbish I might need some more glue on here do you hear the little pop I took the air out and that's why you need to burnish it down really get the air out that's what will lift your pa um, paper up is if you've got air underneath oh so I've got something on J now we just haven't got the J right this is the purple page so what I've done is as I say I've just put the um, washi tape the edges and that's the tab for the J so what I might do is put colors in that the trouble is when I do that it, it's going to cover up my alphabet um, letters which I'm not sure that's why I haven't done it because I you know these are all you can see them all but you start putting color tabs in where they are see that blue one will sort of be in the middle there uh, they're going to get in the way of my alphabet so I'm not quite sure if I'm going to do that but what I could do is put them along the top maybe on each side that might be an idea 
and then that way I can find them that way that might be better yes so let's just uh, take this one off because I'm going to need all of that so I've I've semi cut it out and semi torn it I did tear it a little bit there it's gone into the jewelry I've got umpteen jewelry magazines because you know that's what I used to do before I did this and so I just took out things that I liked out the magazines and then I used to actually create tutorials for a couple of the magazines so those particular magazines I'm going to take my tutorial out of it and I've actually got a jewellery sketchbook where I used to put my own sketches in for my own designs and stuff and so I think I will probably put my own tutorials that I made for the magazines into that sketchbook if you'd like to see me do that then please let me know it is a huge sketchbook it's a three size so whether I'd actually get it on my table or not I don't know <laughs> but I can see if I can if not I might just show you bits and pieces as I do them right so I'm going to leave that edge free so that's not stuck down which is good I'd rather have something underneath those bits and over here I'm not bothered you know I can put it over the top if I want to so yeah that's that's the biggest problem with this is finding bits as you go along it's not something you can put a background down unless you find a big image and that I'm finding like this one this is my drinks in glasses page I've got this huge image and it fills up the background nicely and you can still glue other things over the top of it but until you kind of got the background fill it, filled in um, it's it's still very bitty which I find quite difficult to deal with really so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go up this edge to start with and then I'm going to glue the page so if I put the I'll know how far down I need to go and I don't think it goes all the way across so I'll just make sure I've got the top done there's a gap here I always find that bigger images are easier to deal with gluing the, the page rather than the image. Right, let's see if I can tuck that under there. No, you're not playing ball are you? Because I've got, because again it's not straight, it's not straight line. <sighs> it does fill the whole page. Right, I'm going to go this way with my bubbles, see if we can pop them, but you do have to be careful not to make a hole, which is, I've done that many times, because I'm heavy handed. <laughs> I didn't quite tuck it in it's not so easy to tuck in I see any trouble that's why I glued that edge but that's what helped me not get it in there 
Right, so that one's filled quite a lot of that one up, hasn't it? And I'll be able to put more on there. I've got some glasses already done. They're not all cut out yet. So I thought I'd show you. I've got some of my images in my box. Some of them are for my colour glue book as well. But there's lots, lots of things in here to pick out. But we'll go through that if uh, if we get time. But I don't think I don't think I need any more than what's in here ready to glue in. So there's K. That's hats. I love big sort of hats. So I thought I'd dedicate a page to that. This is L. So I'm going to put this lighthouse on here. And I'll be able to put lots of things around that. So I don't really need all these houses. But it, it's a nice background filler too. So let's glue that one in. Really like that. Plus it wouldn't go on my lighthouse page. <laughs> because it's a bit full already uh, across there maybe not sure how far out I need to go but let's see The, this came out my husband's beer books that he used to get. We don't get them now, but I've got a whole stack of them. There's not an awful lot in them, but I have got the odd glass out and stuff. So, and this came. This was a. This is obviously it. It's like pubs and all that sort of thing. So this is a pub called the Soul Bay Inn, and this lighthouse is very well, pretty much behind it by the look of it. Oh yes, yeah, that's fun. Uh, a bit more down here. There we are. This is a matte type of paper. There's no shine to it. Well, it's got a sheen to it, but not it's matte really mainly it's not like shiny shiny like glossy magazines so that's the start of my l as i say i do have a dedicated lighthouse page but i couldn't get it on it because it was too big so here's my blue page i know we did blue in the other one but i do need to get some in here so we're going to put this one across there like that nice background page there for us right missed a bit there let's just see if i can see where i've missed bits chunks coming off now right I'm going to go over the washi tape a bit because the washi this book has got like a white border around the edges you can see it here so when I put the washi tape on and it goes over the white you can really see it but once it's on here it's a bit dark so I'm going to cover that dark bit up let's just see if I've got I don't think I've gone far enough down the page to um, stick it at the bottom it's easier doing this before I stick it on the other page so I'll go along here like that right now then see if we can get it to go around the bend ah. 
Here we are. That's gone right in there, isn't it? That was good. One thing about this, you can kind of wipe off the glue. I might get a wipe out to do that. Plus my fingers are getting a bit sticky. Because it's glossy, it comes off quite well. Like that. I don't know whether I've got enough glue on the top. Because I think I've gone over the edge of the paper quite a bit. Uh, oh yeah, I have. Look at that. That's okay. I'll trim it off. I, I find this really hard to do, trimming off. I just always end up cutting into the page or it goes all wonky halfway along. Yeah, I just do the best I can. I'm not going to worry about it. It's my glue book. I don't care if I chop bits out of the page. <laughs> yeah, I do. Look at that. See, it's all wonky. I'm rubbish again in straight lines. So, hmm, that corner's not stuck down, is it? It is now. There. And... That page will dry out quite quickly. I do still have some... Oh, come out. Bubbles going on in there. See if we can get them to come out. Might be it's just not stuck down properly. Oh. Oh. Just got to be careful you don't take the colour off the, off the image. Right, so where's my boat? Oh, my blue boat. So where should we put this one? Use a bit of a thin line up there, I'll be able to fill that in better I think. Yeah, we'll put it up there. So I hope you're all doing well. I'm doing okay. I've been very busy with my mum. As I mentioned in the last video or the one before, I can't remember now because I did rattle on in the last one about me mainly, but and I hope you didn't mind hearing my woes of the year and what's been going on with me. I do find, you know, it was quite quite a hard video for me to do. And I'm glad I did it though. I do I am glad I did it this dried out now. yeah I might be able to put that back on the page now let's try it out so I'm going to try not to talk about it too much but you know it, it is revol my life is revolving around everything because like that at the moment so, no I wasn't going to put him up there was I so this is my Big Cats page. So I've got my big lion on there. And here's some cheetahs, I think they are. Yeah, leopards are the circles and these are the spots. And that's how I remember it anyway. And aren't they cute? Look at all those little furry chaps and chapesses. Lovely. I do love big cats. At our zoo, we have lions. This is this is from my zoo. Um, a lot of these animal ones are from my zoo magazine that we when we used to subscribe. Uh, well, members members of the zoo. Which, especially when my daughter was young, my my husband loves the zoo as well. So, 
we we were members when she was young and then we decided that we couldn't really afford it but my husband was quite upset by that so we then decided to try and do it where it was just me and my husband because my daughter had grown up and she was at uni and what have you but she's now back home and her and her fella uh, are not working at the moment but uh, I think she doesn't mind me calling her by her name her name's Billy with a B and IE at the end Billy. and her boyfriend Connell uh, he um, is just about to start his lorry driving training he wants to be a lorry driver here in the UK we have got a major major shortage of lorry drivers and so he's decided one of his mates became a lorry driver and the money's good there's always work out there and so he's decided he's going to do his lorry driver training which he starts next week so and it, it just means that hopefully they'll be able to be able to be together once he gets earning uh, a good living uh, because at the moment they, they they're on a council list waiting list which takes forever to get a council house here you know it's just one of those things it just is you you get a point a month you know so in a year you're only building 12 points up and i think they're up to about 20 odd points now so they've still got quite a long way to go before they can actually start looking at some of the places that come up but if he's earning a good living then maybe they'll be able to afford one themselves i'm going to put this one at the top this has come out of one of my jewelry magazines I'm going to do it so that it's buttered up to here. I don't want to get... It's quite a long one, so... I did leave that bit of pink on it, just had some writing on it, but I like the pink. I thought there's no point in taking it off because it's a pink page, so... We lift it on. It's a bit wonky, as usual, because I can't cut in the straight line. And as usual, when I'm doing this sort of thing, I'm usually not got my cutter or my trimmer nearby. Up here, I have to bring it up here with me because it's in the house. So, yes. There we go. Oh no, look at that. That's really wonky, isn't it? I don't think I can correct that. <laughs> Not unless I take it off again. Can I get it off? Yes, I can. Let's try again. Let's try again. So I want it high enough here, but I also don't want a gap here. That's better. And now I've probably pulled all the glue off. Let's see if it will stick down. That's it. That's better. Oh, now because it's wet, I've just made it split it, ripped it up there. Look, uh, I don't know. Right, do I want to put this down here or do I want to put it up there like that? I think I might trim a little bit of that dark bit off. I don't think we need that. Let's take it down to there. That'll do. Get rid of that. And you really want the pink stuff, don't we? I think I'll put it there. It's quite good it? being dark next to that. Don't suppose it's straight. Not too bad. Not too bad. Oh. So I think next, my next video could be either 
Well, what I intend to do is record a couple of videos. Maybe not necessarily today. It's getting beginning to get late. But I, I've got a, a shopping haul video of things that I bought. You know, when I was when I come out of hospital and I was starting to recover a bit I decided I needed uh, some retail therapy and I bought some things that might interest you so I might do a shopping haul video that's better look at that wonky line that's terrible isn't it told you I was rubbish at doing straight lines I just find if I if I use the trimmer it just wrecks it really quickly so I bought this little mini guillotine and I do like it I've, I've not used to using one I suppose that's a prom problem I've always had trimmers and I don't know I just I don't know whether I get on with it <laughs> I'm not sure at the moment. I'm, I'm seeing how it goes. Chop that one in front of didn't I? There we are. Right, so that's pink pages done. Nothing for me dogs yet. And a lot, I do have some pa uh, dog pictures, but I don't know if I've cut them out. So here's my M, and I am literally going to put them straight in the middle. I like them there. Mushrooms. Shrooms. There we go. That one. That went down quick. I'm going to go back to B and I'm going to put my birdhouse down because I'd like him here like this. And then that'll be it. That's fine. So there we go. I think for now I'll call it a day um, here and I'll continue on from M. Obviously, I've done that now, so we'll carry on from M and I'll do that in another video because it's getting a bit long isn't it so yes so I'll do sort of part two of the collective uh, blue book which is what we're calling this now and we'll shut her up and I hope you enjoyed watching me slowly fill her up is going to take me forever i know it is <laughs> but it's the joy of just gluing she might come out every now and again for you and i'll i'll sort i like to jump around i don't really like working solidly in one book plus also i think i've got uh what have i got uh, there's quite a few other videos i i need to make I've made a promise to uh, Elizabeth that I would do some patchwork papers and show how I did them. I figured out that the one that I originally recorded, I had a lot of trouble with this because this is my new newer phone. 
I, I mean I've had it over a year now but this is what I'm recording on now but at the time I hadn't had it long when I did that video and my app just didn't it it wasn't working I my editing app so it was a big problem and in the end I just deleted it because I just couldn't get the video to to upload into the app so I could edit it so I'll make a new video on my patchwork papers but I also uh, want to make a, a new journal for them to go into so I'll, I'll I'm going to make a complete new journal stroke patchwork paper video shortly uh, probably the next one after I've done the second half of this so I'll I'll hopefully get that done very soon Elizabeth I promise uh, I've got an idea I just got to sort out my cover and then I know what size papers I want they're going to be they're not going to be this size which is what my big Gertie was they're going to be uh, possibly narrower maybe the same height but I think I'm going to have a narrow one so I will see how that goes so I don't know whether I'll put a title on here now that I've decided I've given it a new name the collective blue book so I quite like that sounds rather posh really doesn't it the collective bit sci-fi hmm right so that's it for this one thank you for watching I hope you enjoyed my gluing in and my little bit of a ramble <laughs> i think most of my videos have usually got a bit of a ramble in them and uh, that's why i'm called chatty lane and i hope you'll come back and watch more of my videos don't forget to subscribe if you want to know when i upload that would be very very nice i've been getting quite a few new, subs new subscribers recently uh welcome to you and thank you for been in and watching what I'm doing and my old subscribers obviously that have been here a long time thank you for still being here even though I've had a bit of a, a break and I'll see you in the next one keep well stay safe and bye for now